Hello guys, welcome back to Solar Motion VFX. For this little quick tutorial, I'm showing on how to integrate Invectors uh, third-person shooter template with uh, Honor AI agents. So I have this uh, scene here where I have two uh, Honor AI agents, um, this, these two creatures here, and then I have my Invectors uh, third-person shooter here, which is this guy here running around. Now, let's see what's gonna happen. If I get near these creatures, uh, they should uh, probably try to flee, and also if I try to shoot at them, they don't take any damage. So if I get near them, within his detection zone, yeah, because he has no attack component on him, and the same with the, this crawler creature here, and again, nothing is happening. And of course, if you go into the actual crawler here, we can actually see it by the debugging AI here what is actually doing. So right now you can see he's in the fleeing state. Yep. So let's try to set it up so we can actually deal damage and get some damage here. Okay? Okay, so let's start with this evil crawler creature here. So um, I set up all the animations. If you haven't seen that video, you can also... I have a link in the description how to set up uh, the normal standard uh, on AI. But uh, this, it's very simple to set up these uh, both uh, generic uh, characters NPCs, uh, magicians, I mean, ghost, whatever you want, this on AI can definitely do it. So in this case, it's this crawl I have here. I set up all the default uh, animations here. I have a diff animation. Um, I have some, um, I have one diff animation and two attack animations. Uh, so very simple. And uh, in the movement script, I just set up the idle and crawl forward and back and so on. So very simple. Uh, but what we want to see is how actually we can deal uh, attack with this uh, creature here. So for this, I just want to show you that this creature is in the AI group called Crawler AI. And the same thing with the, the next creature I have here. I put them both on the Crawler AI uh, group. My player, he, is, uh, he has this player uh, component. And this player component is a uh, Honor AI component. And I have put him in the Hero uh, group. If we go in and look at these uh, groups here, you can see that the crawler group treats the hero group as enemies, and likewise the hero group treats the crawler uh, group as uh, enemies. Okay? So what we want to do is actually see where we want to uh, get uh, some attacks from him, some attack points, and I want these two arms here, because that's the animation I have where he's going to uh, move his uh, front legs or arms, what you want to call them. Uh, so. What I want to do is actually it's reveal his uh, root and uh, his uh, hierarchy of uh, his uh, skillets, and then I want to find the correct spot for for the uh, attack. So here it is. So this one. So this is where I'm gonna uh, get some uh, attacks from. Okay. So let's set up the attack components for him. So on the evil crawler, right click and create an uh, empty, and uh, let's just call this uh, attack like so and for this attack what we're gonna do we're gonna add in a weapon script and let's give it a range of four here and let's also give it a box collider like so and what you want to do is we want to move this box collider over to this arm here so in my case it is uh, this one leg front right free so I'm gonna pull my attack and make it a child of this leg here. So that's over here. And I'm just gonna adjust it so it's gonna be sitting right where I want it. Okay, so I adjusted that and I did the same thing with the other leg here. I just made a, a control D duplicate and then move it up to its leg front left. So I have these two box colliders here and we have a weapon script on them, on these two here. So when we have that, to actually be able to get the damage, then uh, we're gonna add a component on both of them. So for this attack right, add component and it's called V object damage. Okay, so with this uh, V object damage component on, open it up, layer to collide on will be a player and the tag will also be a player. An important thing here is of course change the collision method from trigger to collider. And I do the same thing for the uh, attack left here. Uh, animation here um, you're gonna set up exactly the same player player and then collision on collider so let's test it out 
He should be attacking us. Yeah. And we are getting some damage here. Like that. So that's really perfect here. We can also go into our evil crawler. The bucket. And we can see it's, he's in the fight. And uh, can we see target? It's true. And uh, so the combat has. Does he have a ranged weapon? No. It's false. So it's going to go down to the melee combat. If we open this graph, you can see actually what he's doing here. And now I'm dead. Cool. Cool. So now we have that. Let's see how we can actually deal some damage to this because nothing is happening right now. It can only damage us, right? So how do we do that? Let's uh, get out of this play mode here. So what I actually had to do is I had to look at the uh, Emerald AI, which is another AI solution, uh, and it has an integration with uh, within a uh, Invicta, and it has something here called the V Projector Control Code Snippet. So it says this code should be added right below the first instance of on Cash Collider Invoke Hit Info and Damage Value. So under this uh, under this line here, we need to insert our damaging to the on AI. So, and where we can find that in our code. So, let's search for the V projectile script, and that's the one here. And then, uh, control F to search, and we were supposed to look for the on cast collider. So, on cast collider, and it's right here on line 68. So, here it is. Uh, so, it says between this. And this line, the damage damage value, we need to insert our little code. Okay, so now we know where the code will uh, go in, right? So basically, we're gonna just uh, copy paste the code from the Emerald AI uh, documentation and insert it here, uh, and uh, modify it to our Honor AI. But to be able actually to use Honor AI, let's go up in the namespaces and say using RV Honor AI, like so. And let's get back to line sixty-eight. Here, so here we need to paste in our code, right? So if I control V, it's going to paste in this. And uh, let's uh, change the wording here to honor AI damage, like so. And let's just make some small modification here. So hit info, game object, uh, get component. And we don't want the Emerald AI because we are searching for the character here. Which is the component on our on our uh, agents on AI agents? Let's do like that, and let's delete this Emerald AI and two parentheses here, and say if it's not equal to no, like so. So let's see here if it's correct. Hit info dot. We are missing the collider dot collider dot game object now it looks correct and let's get our parentheses end here okay so for this hit info we're gonna choose collider again is our hit info collider game object get component and then again the component we want is the character is the character right? And let's see here. Here we're gonna make some changes. Let's delete all this. It's, it's easier. So after the parentheses here dot and to to get damage is the receive damage method. You need to uh, to call on. And how much damage? Let's just uh, call it uh, fifty for now here. And who's gonna do it? It's gonna be the shooter, which is our player. And the damage type will be physical like so and then the end statement set that to false like so okay that should be the basic simple code here we need so this is what you need to put in here and you can uh, again refer to the emerald ai in vector in integration uh, uh, component that's actually how you set it up so let's save this and try to test it out Okay, so back in the scene here, what we want to do, we're going to the player and make sure into your shooter manager script 
enable this the damage layer inside here the damage layer make sure that you have chosen the layer of your enemy in this case this crawler here is has the layer of crawler so i'm going to choose that that means my bullet can actually interact with him so let's uh, check him out um, last thing i want to also go into the crawler here and make a sound so click on the sounds and then on the die sound I configured a dice um, and a sound. So let's go in and choose this dead craver here. So let's take this and let's just hit him. He should die pretty fast uh, because uh, I have put a high value on. There it is, and it worked. So perfectly. So thank you guys. I hope you found this useful and if you like it please leave a comment and uh, subscribe that will help my channel otherwise see you on the next on AI tutorial bye